Hello Scorpio and welcome to my channel. Uh, my name is Joy and today uh, we'll be taking a little break from doing tarot readings and we're going to be doing um, some candle divination for you. And um, so we'll just kind of, I'll just kind of walk you through it as I'm, I'm doing it and then at the end we'll, um, we'll see what uh, the fire elementals have, uh, spirits have brought forward to you in a message um, through the paper and the candle flame. So, um, all right, well, first of all, you always want to put some protection around yourself, around your home, and the people that are, that are, uh, you know, within, with living within your home. You can include your animals as well. You just put that white light, uh, a white bubble of light around yourself to, uh, to protect, for protection, for just positive, uh, positive enlightenment and positive energy, so you don't want any negative uh, negative spirits or negative energy coming into you. Um, you always want to keep yourself, you want to keep yourself bright light, you know, that, yeah, you don't want the dark to come in, you want to vamp up your, your white light, your light, okay? <laughs> um, and then what you're going to be needing, you're going to be needing a red, orange, or a white candle. Now you can do this at home. Um, anybody, everybody, everybody can do this. Um, if you're saying, well, I'm not a medium or I don't have psychic abilities, that, that's fine. Anybody, like I said, everybody can do this. Um, you're going to, so the first thing you have to do, though, besides putting that white light around you, you're going to be needing a candle, a white, red, or orange candle. Those are the colors that are recommended because those are the colors that represent fire. And we're going to be calling in and using the fire elementals. And the fire elementals are our little our spirits, spirits of, of uh, flames, fire. Um, and those are, they are called salamanders and they are dijins. And also, um, also when you do this, um, you're going to be with the fire elementals. My uh, Archangel Michael is also going to be incorporated within this because he is he goes right along with the fire elementals. So, um, you know, later when I we get into lighting the candle, you know, you call you call the fire elementals and Archangel Michael and the fire fairies and um, you you call them in and. Um, they will help with this but like I was saying it's very important not only just the color of the candle that you use but it has to be a brand new candle it can't be some candle that perhaps you've uh, since it's like red and orange that you've used around these holidays you know around Halloween Christmas Thanksgiving or uh, you know maybe you just like to light candles around your home it has to be a brand new candle because you want that energy from the fire elementals are going to be, uh, and your energy is all going to be going into this candle, and you want to keep it pure. Like I was saying, you want to keep it pure and bright. Um, and then once you're done with this divination here, um, you put your candle aside and you put it in a, uh, a special place, you know, somewhere where you're not going to be using it again. For anything other than more candle divination, you can use this. You can use the candle again if you choose to do another candle divination um, of your own. But you don't want to use it in everyday, everyday thing because it, it is going. It does hold the energy of the of the fire spirits. Um, all right. So now the first, then the next thing you do after you purchased your candle, you can uh, you can. Give a little prayer on your candle. It doesn't matter what kind it is. If it's a, a tapered, uh, you know, a tapering candle, um, you know, a big candle with three wicks, or just a pillar candle. I'm using tea light candles because that's what I have available, and it's working just fine. Um, how was I going with this? Oh my word! Well, anyhow, <laughs> you bless your candle. And like I was saying, it has to be brand new. Okay. And then what you need to do is you need to find a piece of, you need to get a piece of paper, sheet of paper. I'm using a uh, printer paper. 
white flimsy prayer paper. Um, some people do use parchment paper because it, you know, it does absorb the heat. It does absorb the heat, and the smoke will spread more on parchment paper. But you know, no matter what uh, type of paper you use, um, make sure you have a glass of water. Make sure you have a glass of water or a little Dixie cup of water with you in case, uh, just in case the fire uh, shoots up or the flame shoots up from the candle or you're holding your paper too close and it starts a fire. You don't want to start your home. You don't want to start a fire in your room or in your house. Um, all right, so all right, you've got your paper. And now what you're supposed to do, and since uh, I don't know your name, this is a collective reading, I'm just going to write Scorpio on the paper, but, okay? So, Scorpio, you would write your name, you would write your name and your birth date on here. Now, I'm not adding any dates because, you know, that would be a lot of extra little numbers down here. You know, every, you know, for every <laughs> Scorpio day. Okay. So, after you do that, after you write your name on your paper... And then you take this paper and you want to pull it up to your heart chakra like such. And you want to breathe in four times. You want to breathe in for four counts. Then you will hold your breath, that breath, for four counts. And then you exhale it for four counts. You can do this as many times as you need to just to, to make yourself relax. And you're putting your energy, you're putting your energy into this, you're putting your energy into this uh, piece of paper here as well. And, um, at, and at any time during this this whole um, divination, it is very much, uh, very much, and very important to to thank the fire elementals. You can just lump them together and say fire elementals, or, or you can go separately. I thank the salamanders. I thank the Dijins. I thank you, Archangel Michael, for your guidance and your for the images that you're going to portray on the paper. You know. However you want to thank them and be thankful and grateful and give them gratitude um, for that because that is very important for them to feel your energy because your ener all that energy is going into this paper because you are holding it on your chest like I was saying and you're, you know, you're doing that breathing exercise on the paper. And as you do that, you may even feel a little bit of warmth on your paper, holding it here on your heart. All right, so I'm going to uh, light your candle now. Now you light the candle after you've done all that. And you can watch the flame for a little while. You can, you know, concentrate on the flame of the candle. And just imagine, imagine the elementals, you know, just imagine them, how, how they're, they're dancing around, how they're dancing around and they're, they're, they're bringing in the oxygen to make the fire. You know, you can just, you know, just imagine them, imagine the fairies, imagine the fairies, you know, maybe dancing around, you know, maybe dancing around your candle, you know, use your imagination and, uh, Archangel Michael is also for clairvoyance and intuition, and that's one connection he has with the fire elementals, because this is this is also a procedure that you can do for clairvoyance, uh, and that is for clear seeing. Okay, so I'm going to pull the camera in, and then we'll begin with your reading here. All right, Scorpio, you got your paper with your name on it and your birth date. You're going to take it with your hands, and you're just going to wave it over the flame of the candle. You just want to go around in circles all over the paper, and as you're doing this, eventually you're, go you're going to see um, the smoke smudge, the smoke smudges. Um, you do want to concentrate more on the center of your paper, but then at the same time, you also want to get around to the edges as well. All right, you can do this for about five minutes, or forever. How long? Uh, you think it's necessary when you think you know when it's time to stop but for uh, this being just a, a YouTube video I am just going to um, do it for a short while here 
I don't want to uh, I don't want you to kind of like lose your interest in this and and go without seeing your picture without your reading now um, in this um, in this kind of divination as well you're going you may be able to you're going to be you may see some objects in your paper in the in the picture you could be seeing some faces now the faces could be of past loved ones um, could even be your spirit guides or just someone that you know that has a message you know that has a message for you uh, many times objects can show up uh, any type of object maybe a you know maybe a, a coin or some keys or a tree house flowers um, you know maybe even spirit animals spirit totems maybe a deceased pet of your own as well so there's many things you know any anything imaginable you know objects people animals Ooh, look at that go Ooh. I don't know if you saw how how that was um just that smoke there just went woo made a big old pitch made a big old loop there all right Scorpio so I'm going to go ahead and stop. Now, also when you're doing this, your paper may curl. Your paper may curl, and you can maybe feel a little bit of heat on your fingers as well. All right. So put your paper down. Thank you. Thank you. And you blow your candle out. And then and here's your... Um, here's what... Uh, Fire Elementals uh, images have right, made for you. Now what I like to do is I like to take a pencil and I trace over all the fire smudges to bring a more pronounced picture of Stutch into it. And uh, when you're doing this, when you're looking at the picture, um, you know, always move, turn the paper. You know, look at the look at this picture from all four sides. You know, all four directions, I mean, all four directions. And you can, if you're doing this at home, you, might, you can always, of course, you know, um, outline the picture as well. You can even use different colored pencils if you want for, you know, the darker smudges of the, of the, uh, of I'm sorry of the smoke. <laughs> so you know when you're holding it to your heart, I'm not sure if, if I mentioned this, but you can put your intention into it besides you know thanking them. Um, you can also you know, put your question and your intent. What 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 is your question? What is it that you want to know? So it's kind of like a tarot reading in a way, I suppose. Then you put your question. You know, you put your intent and your question into it. Hmm. I'm gonna stop for a second. I think my camera shut off. I heard it go beep, and I don't know why. Oh, see. No. Well, it's still going. It's still going, but there's a red line through the battery. So, just see how how far we can get. Sometimes it does that, it's not even recording anymore. And sometimes it is. There's a this whole area here. Alright, oh I'm gonna hold it up. Does that look like anything? Do you see anything in your picture here, Scorpio? 
I still have some more shading, some more uh, outlining I can do, I mean. Are you seeing anything in your picture as of right now? Well, this kind of reminds me of, what are they, um, what are they called? Oh, my mind went blank. I'd like a Sagittarius, half man, half horse. What are they called? I should know this, right? <laughs> That's what I'm seeing here, though. Um, well, it could be a Sagittarius coming through. Could be a Sagittarius coming through. He wants to give you a message or saying hello to you as well. Um, okay. So again, I'm just going to keep shading here. Like this is all smoke, lighter smoke here. But I want to go around the darker pieces, the darker images too. Sometimes, you know, they can make pictures. Yes, you do this too. Um, sometimes you, you, it seems to form more as you're doing this. You can come back in a couple days, and you may see, um, you may see some other pictures. Wow, well, this is a. This is all smoke up here. This, oops, I made a scratch. This is, all, this is all smoke here. Oh, okay. I do see something here. Alright, um, see this? Here's an eye. Here's an eye right here. Look. Here's an ear. The body, a tail. It's a dog. You see that dog? You see the dog? The eye, the nose, well, the head here, the long ears, little de uh, the legs, the little legs, tail. This is reminding me of a little, a wiener dog, a little Dotson dog. Do you have a Dotson dog or do you have a little dog or had a little dog? So there's coming through to you. The dogs are for loyalty, friendship. Uh, this could be a, a past, a past pet that's passed on, coming through, letting you saying hello to you. But yeah, again, here is that. Oh, what are they called? Sat? Not a satire. Um, well, here's the horse. You know, here's the body. Here's the body, and then up here is the human form that's connected to the to the horse. Um, throwing his, you know, having his arms up. Here's the head right here. Here's the arms. So again, you turn your paper all around. From the way, when I'm looking down at this way, it looks like there's a heart here. So there's some love. There's a love. Some love is coming through. Some love from a Sagittarius, from your little uh, wiener dog, Dotson. It's also here. This is also reminding me here now of, as a, of a, a, a duck's head. See the duck? Here's the bill. Alright, this is the bill, the eye, and here's the head. Here's the head. Here's a duck. Just the face, you know, just the head of a duck or of a goose. Coming through. This also here looks like if someone's made a fist. 
made a fist and pointing their finger. Looks pretty pronounced there, that, that finger, and here's the knuckles. It's the other part of the hand here, you know, going like this, you know, pointing. Someone may be trying to come, you know, maybe there's someone um, that you feel might be hounding you. There is a dog here, it might be a hound dog. You may feel like there's somebody been hounding you and they're pointing their fingers at you. But they're doing it all in love because you've got the heart, you've got this heart here. Doing it all in love, doing it out of love, so don't be too critical or on them. All right, Scorpio, I will, you know, as you're looking at this, I'll post this picture at the end of your reading here, or at the end, so you can look at it more uh, clearly on what you're seeing and what you're getting from your picture. Um, yeah, but that's what, that's what I'm getting. I'm just, I'm getting a, I'm not really quite putting a story too much around it, other than there's a finger pointing. Someone may be hounding you and you're feeling as though they're always telling you what to do, what to do, pointing their fingers at you. And they're doing it out of love. They're doing, out of, they're doing it out of love. They're not trying to uh, put you down or anything. As you do have coming out, now right here, this is an oval here and this, these lines here could be like the sun, the sunshine. They're doing it out of light and love. They're doing it out of love. If you know anybody that has a goose or a duck, or had a pet goose or a pet duck, um, could be a message here with that for you as well. I'll put in the comments um, what this is called that I'm trying to think of, doggone it, <laughs> of this figure here for you. All right, Scorpio. Well, there's your reading. Um, you know, look at the picture once again, and see what you find. You know, here I drew this here. There's smoke up here. I know I keep going on in here. You know, this could be the the scenery behind you. You know, this could have been the mountains or valleys with the sun rising up over it as well. Maybe there's some traveling going on. Maybe there's some traveling going on. Ducks are migrating now. Migrating, you may be doing some traveling. Maybe doing some traveling as well. Alright, Scorpio, there you go.